Почнувајќи од 2010 година, традиционално во Вивчани се организира меѓународната ликовна колонија Вивчански видувања. Низ годиниве свој беле го ставиле преку 250 врвни слики. This project is sponsored by PCBWA. This year, PCBWA is celebrating the 10th anniversary of its successful existence. On the occasion of this event, PCBWA provided its users with more conveniences such as big savings for certain products as well as discount of up to 80%. Log into the PCBWA site and start the PCBWA 10th anniversary tour Well, you will enjoy, enjoy Coupons, lucky draw, exclusive badges, unboxing blind boxes, and many other surprises. PCB Way is always your great choice. Hello, uh, the TF6686 radio module is intended for AM FM receivers for cars. This miniature, miniature module has amazing possibilities, great sensitivity and selectivity, adjustable DM phases and filter. Uh, it has an output analog audio left plus, plus right or MPX, depending on the configuration. Also, it has an I2C communication protocol uh, through which the module can be easily controlled by a microcontroller. Uh, recently, in one of my previous videos, I described how to make a radio with this module that is controlled through a special PC software. This time I will present you a way to make a portable DSP radio with a beautiful TFT color display uh, that is controlled by an ESP32 microcontroller. The project is uh, the work of the PE5 PVB ham radio operator and all credits go to him. On his website you can find detailed construction information as well as a schematic di diagram and source codes. Lotteries such as this assembled radio is sold on AliExpress at a price of about $130 and we can make it ourselves for several times lower price, about $20 to $30. This radio can be made in a very simple way and consists of several components. ESP32 Dev Module Microcontroller, TF6686 AM FM Radio Module, ILI9341 TFT Color Display with 320 on 240 dots resolution, three buttons, rotary encoder, potentiometer. Next, small D-class amplifier module, speaker, and a small analog instrument to indicate signal straight. Uh, the code can be installed on the microcontroller in two ways. Uh, first, you can download already compiled software and upload it using prepared script from release page. And second, you can download source code from release page and then compile and upload it using, for example, uh, Arduino ID. The second way seems more acceptable to me uh, because I can change some options myself, such as the color of the display, for example. 
After the installation of the codes, small adjustments are made during the first power up using the four buttons. If during boot the radio we hold certain button, the result is as follow. Standby button to calibrate the analog S meter. Uh, bandwidth button to change ro uh, rotary encoder direction. Mode button to flip the screen. And uh, rotary button to switch between normal and optical rotary encoder. And now let's see how the radio works in real conditions. The main screen appears immediately after the logo. On it we can see all the information and the frequency is marked uh, in the middle with big yellow numbers. Here is the reception uh, information such, such as RDS, stereo reception, bandwidth, mute, manual or automatic dialing as well as reception signal stre strength in the form of a bar or numerical value. Turning the encoder change the frequency. The green arrow shows us which digit are changing, that is the dialing step. The functions of the buttons are as follows. Standby short press, switch band, AM or FM. Standby long press, the radio goes to standby. Uh, bandwidth short press, switch bandwidth settings. Bandwidth, bandwidth long press, switch mono or auto stereo. Now it's auto stereo and mono reception. Mode short press, switch between auto manual tuning or exit menu. Uh, model long press, we enter in new menu. Uh, rotary long press, toggle IMS and EQ. Uh, rotary short press, set step size. or navigate. This is the squel the squel the squelch function potentiometer. An analog instrument is optional and displays the received signal strength. Now I will connect an antenna and briefly test the reception of the FM and AM bands. Tuin.mk 
со новата каматни стапки на Комерцијална банка доби повеќе од твојата заштеда во промотивниот период до 30 септември. Искористи ги зголемените каматни стапки. На прангат. Ту дует ваштуар, че не ве... Шептар. Еш дес мов... От тъ сигур, да снимет и ка... And finally, a short conclusion. First of all, let me mention that for the FM band, I used a 137 MHz V dipole antenna for weather satellite reception, as the closest option since I don't own an antenna for FM. And for the AM area, I used a so-called loop over ground antenna that works perfectly with my amateur radio receivers. As we saw in the previous versions of this radio, the reception of the FM band is excellent even when I used a short wire of about 50 cm as an antenna. After all, the purpose of the tef 66 a tuner module is for the car radio where we usually listen FM radio stations. The sensitivity of distance radio stations is also surprisingly good. As for the AM band, the reception of the middle wave as well as shortwave station is quite solid with some note about the selectivity in the shortwave area. This is definitely an interesting quality receiver if we consider that a minimum number of components are required for its production. Let me mention that on the outer page there is also a newer version too with a larger screen and more options such as spectrum monitor, Wi-Fi connectivity for XDR GTK Bluetooth radio and touchscreen, but this version is more complex than version 1. 
The rig is mounted in a situable box made of a PVC board with a thickness of 3 and 5 mm and then covered with self-adhesive colored wallpaper. 